Anyways, what's going on everybody? Daniel here over in undisclosed area and I'm over here with the Black Flag Bounty Boys. A good friend of mine named Nick who has the business and we are doing some shooting and they're running me through some training that they would run their own team through. So just kind of staying, staying competent. You know, that way I know in a dire situation or emergency, I know to handle myself with my weapon. SR9, and I also brought out my AR-15 to get off a couple rounds with that as well. That Saudi's fun. It, I didn't go as fast as I could. I could that that shot is real fun. So, yeah, stay tuned for a lot of content. We're going to have a lot of, so, yeah, enjoy it. One, gun! Three, gun! It's count, it's count. Two, good guy. Three, gun! Two, gun! Four, gun! One, good guy! Two, gun! One, gun! Three, gun! Ah, too many. You're out. Well done, well done. You're shooting high. Felt like it. So, keep your finger pointed. Boom. Think of your weapon as an extension of yourself. Okay. There you go. Boom. Boom. Yeah, you're not. There's times you're going to miss, but it's fine. Okay. Like, when I'm shooting fast or whatever, okay. I don't give a fuck about the rear post. Side. On the sights, I want to make sure this one is directly in the middle of that. You want that in the middle, and you want this even with it. With that one, right? Okay. Perfect. Don't worry about drawing. Let's just focus on some fundamentals with the shot here. Cool. Okay, so far so good. Go ahead and give me two. Okay, first one was down towards the ground. Second one was center mass. Okay. I'm going to give him something real quick. Here. Take your tip of your finger. Okay. Line it up. Oh, hey, get a video of this too. All right, right on the cuticle and bite down. Okay. Where the line is, it's where you're gonna place your finger. Ah. You're okay. gonna place that finger, your finger right on the trigger. Sure Shut the fuck up. Way out. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for being so dumb. What? That's dope. So here. Here. Yeah. Pull it. There you go. There it is. Okay, oh. that one felt better. That was dead center, yeah. bro. That felt better. Okay. Charged, ready to go. It's on safety. Okay. That's different. Yeah. It's a whole <laughs> that was just, I wouldn't understand how to aim that. That's more Honestly, of just a generality, you're, right? You're flying off the hip. Yeah, so it's just boom. So it's, when you're, when you're going here, mind you, we're also with this, you're very fucking close to your target. Exactly. You're, you're not. You're not trying to aim. You're just getting the jab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shot, yeah. This is a little so far typical. For so that green bottle. Oh, I see it. Look at that big ass. Look at that big juicy booty. Ah, uh, we're 50 50. Hey, go down our steel plate. <laughs> oh, yeah. See it rock. 
I just felt guilty having him do it by himself. Face me, face me, face me, face me. All right, you ready? Let's Are you ready? Let's Are you ready? Let's Three. Let's What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? So, I wanted to give you all a little recap on my shooting lesson today with the Black Flag Bounty Boys and their style of training. So, at first, it was supposed to be just Nick and I, who is the owner of Black Flag Bounties and whatnot, and he actually had two of his teammates come through. And I'm actually glad that he did because I think with Nick and I, it would have been really fun just to shoot. You know, and he would have given me a couple tips here and there. However, I got to experience what it was actually like to be a part of that team. And they ran me through drills that they also go through. They gave me a bunch of tips, as you could see in the video, which made me feel ridiculously stupid because, you know, I had taken a class already and I was very confident that I remembered a lot and I found out very quickly that I did not. So, Instead of getting flustered or upset, I went into that whole training session with a very open mind and a willingness to learn again. Because I know that everybody's style is different and you, you gotta take it, you know, one step at a time. So like I said, you know, the beginning part was very humbling because I thought I was, you know, not proficient at handling a handgun, but, you know, I could say that I was confident and I realized that I wasn't and I needed to get better and I'm I'll be I'll be honest with you I was very tempted to cancel this morning because number one it's Sunday number two I had to get up at five o'clock actually I had to get up at 420 around that time in order to be ready to be at the, at the part where or be at the place where I had to meet Nick in order to follow follow him up there to their their secret area and I'll tell you what, the morning did not start off well. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but let's take note of the Mexican music playing in the background because it is very serene as I'm watering my plants. So anyways, besides the shooting advice that I got from them, they also gave me a ton of advice on you know, different parts for the different guns that I have and what would be really beneficial for me to have in this moment versus what can wait. And it was really, it was a really good beneficial for me to have in this moment versus what can wait. And it was really, it was a really good, it's really cool to be able to share tactics, share stories, share techniques, share styles. Like and for instance, I got to work with his teammates on how they you know, hold a fist when they go to punch. And it was like, you could see it. Like they were like, oh my God, like it was a genuine fascination with what I was doing. Really, it's such a really good time. I, I would, I would suggest just if you can't go with Black Flag as a training course or like take one of their training courses if they offer it, which I don't even know if they do. The last, last piece I'm gonna leave you with is call around and just talk to people. And then, like I said, if you can't afford the, the classes and you know, you're just kind of like, well, what do I do if I can't do that? Again, luckily for us, most people, I would say the majority of Americans at least, have a, a very easy access in order to obtain a ton of information at no cost, possibly a little bit, which is YouTube, Google, I mean, you name it, I guarantee there is something out there that fits your budget and what you need to take away from this type of knowledge. But again, as always, guys, I always appreciate you watching the content. I don't know, leave a comment, dummy, love me, hate me. Any type of engagement is good engagement. So again, I appreciate you all. Have a great night.